Hi, I'm Dave from boynaband.com, and on this episode of Making the Beat, I'll be making the beat for the song Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Okay, let's begin. Start at the beginning. We've got this uh, filtered intro synth part, and I've made this here in a combinator using an instance of Thor run through a stereo imager to widen it. Now let's concentrate on Thor itself. I'll show you how to build it from scratch. Right click, initialize patch, so this is a fresh instance of Thor now. And I've got an analog oscillator synth and a multi oscillator as well. And I want the, uh, the short pulse wave from that, send it through by clicking number two here. There you can hear that's coming through. I need to take the octaves down in this instance as well. Or you could just put the notes in an octave lower. Okay, now going into the filter, um, we want to turn the turn the drive up a bit, which just increases the input gain into that filter. Turn the frequency down to about three eighths of the knob, and same with the re resonance. And we're going to be playing around with the filter envelope, so we want to turn this filter envelope, in this case, turn it down to about 15, something like that. That'll do. Um, because we don't, we don't want the envelope to affect it too much. We don't want too much of a dynamic change. We're going to turn all these values, um, attack, decay, sustain and release, down to zero except for decay, which goes down to about 500. And you can hear now there's a pluck sound, which wasn't there before. As I take this up, it's just a, a simple kind of synth. I take it down. It's more of a sharp pluck at the start. And the amp envelope we're going to be messing around with as well. Take them down, A and S down to zero. Decay, leave it where it is. But release, take up to about 300 milliseconds. Yes. And that just gives that tail end of the sound, just like in the song. And then last but not least, we've got the state variable filter, because at the moment the effect is a bit too bassy, so we're going to roll off the low end by adding a high pass filter, and there you can hear the, the effect coming through. Now, because we've used the stereo imager, it's not doing anything at the moment because this is a mono signal, so you can add some chorus to make it into a signal, and as you can see it's widened it there, or you can just um, pan the signal as well, and that does the trick too. Now, I think there's a bit of delay as well. Let's add some of that. There we go. And that's our first synth. Okay. Next part. Just move this up so we can change the loop. Hmm, do it here. There we go. This source synth here, which is very simple to make. Again, instance of Thor. Three multi oscillators, all detuned a little bit to give it that thicker sound, and all just saw waves there. And the filter's just whacked up to full with a bit of resonance to add more high end, give it more drive. And I've compressed it and sent it again through the stereo imager. Um, yeah, you can see I've panned it there to make the stereo work. Okay. Next synth. Is this one? This square oscillator synth oscillator sync synthesizer. Now I've explained in detail actually how to make this in my um, awesome dance oscillator sync lead tutorial which you can access here on YouTube. So if you just hop over there, it saves me saying some redundant information. Okay. The beat itself, which comes in next. I've just made with an instance of Redrum and through a compressor and RV7000 Advanced Reverb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Simple as that. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how to make the beat more hard-hitting, like what, how the compressor works and such like, um, just check out my tutorial on how to make a hard-hitting beat. Okay. Now, every now and again there's an echoey kind of pluck sound.
on note. And I've made this using modulated bus, modulation bus routing, which isn't as complex as it sounds. To start, I've made a simple um, analog oscillator, and it's going through a low pass filter, and then I've routed this at the bottom here. Usually it defaults to going right in that direction, and I've routed it left to go into another filter. You could just um, put the filter there, but this is before that amp envelope, so it, um, it amplifies it after the filter. And I've put the default location for this form and filter. Click drop down the formant to the bottom right. And here in the modulation, modulation bus routing, click the drop down arrow, select LFO1, take the amount to minus 60, and make the destination filter 2x. And what that does is once you set up the LFO by clicking Tempo Sync and set the rate to a quarter, it kind of vibrates the sound a bit. Now I'll show you how, what that means by uh, removing this. Yeah, it's a very clean sound, just no, no kind of vibration to it. And if I take it up to full, you can hear how it's got a much more kind of wobbly tone. It's around 60 and that just gives it a bit of extra texture. And LFO2, I've done this a similar way. Again, change the rate, in this case, to an 8. And I've put it on the pitch to give it a bit of vibrato. And that's, again, similar principle, LFO2. Just click that and drag to 15, or whatever. And oscillator 1, pitch, simple as. OK. Next thing, in the chorus, let's go to that. There are two new synths. Um, I've got two tracks on this high pad. Let's have a look at that one. It's just an instance of a, a combinator, and I've used the default tape S and E strings effect, which you can find by opening the uh, patch browser and going to um, Reason Factory Soundbank, Combinator Patches, Strings. And there's tape S and E strings. And I've just taken the attack value on here down so it's it hits quicker. Okay. The mid-range pad was the first time I've ever had a use for the default patch in Thor actually. Um, I just made made an instance of Thor and made got this epic poly default patch. And the only alterations I made were taking the sustain value on the amp below to full and changing the final filter in the chain to a, a low pass letter filter and turning the frequency to 5 eighths about there and the resonance to about 3 eighths the way around. Okay. The last cool little synth in this song, which comes in during the bluffing with my muffin part, what a lyrical genius that Lady Gaga is, is this one, which I've made with an instance of Thor. Um, initialized, then I've made this multi-oscillator, drop-down multi-oscillator, run it through the low-pass filter, and um, the LFO is set to, if you click, th this is the default, um, click it up twice to a pulse wave, and I've changed the rate to 15.9 hertz if you want to be specific, and then I've actually routed the LFO using the modulation bus routing to the amp gain, drop-down amp gain, and that's how you get the, that tremolo effect. And there you have it. Sweet. And that pretty much covers it. Paint your face with some random designs, dye your hair white, make dodgy insinuations about your sexuality on the Jonathan Wash show, and you're pretty much on your way to being a pop star. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, www.boyinaband.com. Have a nice day.